Hi there, I'm Alexandra Buter, and today I have some pretty extreme kitchen organization ideas for you guys. A lot of affordable organizers, a lot of different options and styles, and what I'm excited about with this video is how practical it is, but also I'm using some fun things to just like add some flair because I feel like if you like what your organization looks like, you're way more motivated to maintain it, and subconsciously it's almost like you figure out easier ways to organize that are realistic, so... I'm gonna stop rambling and get into it because I have so many ideas to share with you. If you do enjoy this, please like it and subscribe. I'd love to have you and let's get started. And I wanted to give you an overview of our kitchen for any of you who are new here so you can see the layout that we are working with. We're gonna go through tons of cabinets and drawers. And then at the end, when we do our walkthrough, I will show you a before and after of our pantry. So I wanted to open some of these cabinets and drawers to kind of show you guys the mess I'm dealing with at the moment. I'm going to be sharing tons of product recommendations. Like I said in the intro, I have just so much to share when it comes to affordable organization and also different styles of organizers so as you can see so much clutter honestly just so much stuff that needs to be reorganized some things I'm gonna get rid of I have very satisfying organization for that cabinet and we're gonna quickly work through these drawers I'm gonna spend the most time on this first drawer just to show you my system and process and then we are gonna get through these super quick So of course I started by pulling everything out. So I have a blank slate, then I'm going to vacuum out all of the cabinets and drawers and finish up with a multi-surface spray and a microfiber towel to completely clean the drawers of any crumbs and any dust before I put in this liner. This I was seriously so excited about. I have a lot of leftover wallpaper from a project in our laundry room and I've been looking for a fun idea to use it. I just thought it was so great as a liner in these cabinet drawers um and guys it's just so pretty like it is such a motivator for me i cannot say that enough opening these drawers and cabinets and seeing this it makes me want to maintain them and keep them organized so it's like a double win Now I really like things as cute and as aesthetic as possible, but also as practical as possible. So that is what I really focus on because I'm busy, I'm a mom, I have a lot of things going on. I can't like push things here and there while I'm going throughout my day-to-day -day life just to make it look better. So I think that liner is so pretty, especially with acrylic organizers. So you're able to actually see it between all of your things. And these first organizers I'm using are part of the home edit collection at Walmart. It's exclusively at Walmart. I talk about it like all the time. If you are a regular viewer, you've heard me talk about it and recommend it. If you like acrylic organizers, this is by far the best, most affordable organization line. I just, I love it so much. They're always releasing new products and we're gonna go shopping for even more organizers in a couple of minutes and I'll show you what else I grab from this collection. Thank you. 
So this drawer is pretty much good to go. The last thing I'm adding in is just some disposable silverware. I only use that for school lunches. If you're a mom, then you know it's hard to get silverware back. So I just save that for those special occasions as needed. But I have our straws separated, adult straws and kids straws. And I find it just makes life so much easier when you do it that way. We're gonna move on to the next drawer. And in here, I have a different style organizer. So basically, in here is all white organizer organizers and essentially like I buy some here and there all of these organizers are from many many years of collecting um, through you know several different homes and whatnot so since I don't have 100% the same style I just try and keep the style that I'm using consistent within each drawer I feel like that definitely helps with like the aesthetic um, effect that I'm trying to go for so I showed you guys how some of these organizers are looking the dust the dirt who knows what, I really needed to do this. So, you know, if any of them are looking like that, I'm gonna give them an extra scrub, but of course, vacuuming out the drawers and wiping them down with a multi-surface spray before I even think about adding in a drawer liner. Now, let me give you a hack for measuring out the drawer liner. It will save you so much time. And in the past, I have fully measured everything with the ruler, with the tape measure. It takes so, so long. If you have a little bit of extra liner, then just do it this way. First, eyeball it and cut it a little bit longer than what you need. Then put it in and bend it back at the sides of the drawers. I just pushed on it with my fingernail and then I was able to cut off the excess that way. It, you know, it provides a line once you fold it at the end of the drawer. And you guys, it goes like 10 times faster. Please do that and save yourself like hours of work. I'm gonna give the knife organizer a little bit of an extra scrub. It was looking real gross. Gave you a, um, an up close shot there. I don't love this one. It's just okay. It's from Amazon. I, I'm sure I have it linked for you. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't feel like it's full aesthetic vibes, but just showing you the drawer there, how pretty it looks. I'm going to let the knife organizer completely dry before I work on adding anything back in that drawer. And now I want to work on the kid drawer because this one's super satisfying to share. If you have a kid and you have stickers, just put those in the same drawer as all of the their stuff so you always know where it is um, you know his name stickers so we get that stuff back that goes to school but guys I have so many different organizers I put in this drawer and it is just it's so helpful as far as functionality so I'll show you how I put all of that together now Here is a close up of the drawer overall and the layout that I have. It's all acrylic, obviously, and this is a mixture of Amazon organizers and the home edit from Walmart organizers. One tip I wanted to share now is about those lazy Susans that I have in the right corner. If you have smaller items, definitely use a lazy susan with your kitchen organization it is seriously life-changing so and that one i will have the medicine dispensers and the rubber parts for water bottles just smaller items like that
so this one is my Tupperware drawer and this is the most affordable style bin organizer that I have so I'll show you guys a close-up in just a second here all of these are from Dollar Tree and whenever I share um, home organization from Dollar Tree or Dollar General I do like to tell you guys sometimes it's hard to find the white or the semi-clear or the acrylic like the traditional home organization styles because a lot of what they have is like really vibrant red blue purple but they do have it fairly regularly so sometimes you have to go back a couple times sometimes you find it on the first go but I'm pretty sure all of these bins were a dollar each four dollars to organize an entire drawer and I will show you as I put them back in they fit the drawer absolutely perfectly it's super satisfying So we are almost done with the island, but first I need to go shopping for a couple more organizers. I'm gonna take you guys with me, of course. I have a few short clips to share with you. That was a few quick clips of an Amazon Spice organization set. I will share it in much more detail once we add to it, but I love it. I'm so excited to add to it. I grabbed some wooden cutting boards because Instagram told me I should be using those. And then also some airtight containers from the Home Edit collection. Let me tell you, I used to have everything in airtight containers, but I found it was such a waste of time and I was constantly maintaining them and dusting them. So I will share exactly what I recommend you use those for in just a few minutes. Well guys, it's day two and it's a little crazy in here, but you know, it gets worse before it gets better. I just got home with all the Walmart stuff, the home edit collection, airtight containers, and other things and I'm really excited to see them in here and use them. I have just two more drawers, actually I have one drawer and two cabinets left in the island. And then we're gonna shift and work on the spices and work our way around this way. So a lot to do, but a lot of progress so far too. All right, now here is an Amazon organizer that is very practical, very useful. I've had this around a year and I just really like it. It comes in a wood tone and a few other tones, but as you can see, I have a white and it essentially organizes two rolls. So aluminum foil, plastic, parchment, anything like that. And then all of your plastic bags. And I just find this so helpful because having them in the cardboard they come in, I don't know about you, but that cardboard for us, it gets bent in warps and it just turns into a total mess so this way I take it out of those cardboard boxes immediately stick it in this organizer and we are good to go until we need to replace it I also love the two longer spots for the foil and the plastic it actually works super well and I just I swear by this guys it does come with all of those stickers but again I've had this for so long and I only have ever put foil and plastic wrap in those two slots that I'm just gonna get rid of the rest of the stickers.
All right, we are moving right along. Now the hack I wanted to share in here is this stand-up organizer, this white one. I use that for all of my thin cutting boards I use on a daily basis and I cannot recommend it enough. It's so practical. That way I'm not like fumbling and shuffling, shuffling. I cannot talk to that guy shuffling through all of my cutting boards. So I'll show you how it looks filled up when we do our walkthrough at the end. We're getting pretty close because I needed to wash all of those wooden cutting boards I just bought with you guys at Walmart just you know soaping them up hot hot water I'm gonna let them air dry and then I will add them back in and the last thing I need to organize over here is our countertop appliances they're heavy they're bulky I just think they're hard to work with but I use them all the time and with these I don't recommend that you have them organized from tallest to shortest I recommend that whatever is used the most is in front so for us that's the air fryer and that also is the crock pot All right, we are good to go here. So I'm gonna move on to the spice containers. I'm so excited to share those, but first I just needed some video proof that I am gonna wash these new containers. And as you saw, the ones I had, I just wiped them down, but anything that's like fully new, I do like to soak a little bit with some warm water and dish soap. So while those are soaking and air drying, we get to add to this spice collection. And for a long time, I said I wasn't going to put spices in any containers like this because you know it comes in a container to begin with but having them all in the same container and a little bit aesthetic is just super motivating for me to use them and to cook so we're gonna do it guys here's all of the ones I've had from the past and now we're gonna add to it today with about six or seven more spices and the reason I like to do these just a couple at a time is because honestly it can be expensive and add up spices are not super cheap these days they're like at least four dollars each so I just do a couple at a time just showing you it does come with a lid there a pour and a shake style um, and of course I only am gonna buy spices I can see myself regularly using so let's start adding to them now And we are almost done filling these up. I did want to tell you too, this set does come with a little funnel. So literally everything you need, the container, the stickers, three different sticker options. I hope I said that. I'm using the white obviously, but there's also a charcoal color and then a beige color it comes with. And I'm going to organize these in home edit organizers and they literally fit perfect in the spot that I have for them. I'm so happy about that. Thank you. 
Now I know a lot of people prefer to have their spices organized in a drawer, but I just don't have the space for that. So if you don't either, that's why I put them in that extra container because I only have two containers so I can pull out half of my collection at one time, making it super easy and super functional. I'm gonna work my way up the rest of this cabinet as I'm making dinner mom life and I'm going to adjust the height of this shelf here because I had an oil on an angle not a great idea so I needed some extra height I also am going to use this white organizer to put all of my oils in so I can pull them out at the same time but even more to just protect this shelf from getting any oil on it and that organizer was from the dollar spot at Target they have organization items every once in a while and if you are watching this around the holidays I bet you in January there's gonna be a lot of organizers so keep an eye out for them because they always sell out super quick. I'm using that for the egg cooker and then I'm just gonna put some random stuff up top. Like seriously, so pretty you guys. Like I love opening these drawers and seeing this liner. It is the little things, let me tell you. Now I have a toaster hack I want to share with you. And I have a relatively new toaster. It doesn't matter if it's a new or an old toaster. Almost all of them have the little thing to remove the crumbs, but they still get very crummy. And I tried to show you what it was looking like in there, but it was just too dark. Essentially, it was full of crumbs. It was real gross and time to do this so what I did is I just found an organizer to put the toaster in now I wish it fit completely flat that would be full aesthetic vibes it doesn't but regardless it does fit in the organizer a little bit on an angle and that way that organizer can catch all of the crumbs once I put the toaster away because seriously I shake it out after I use it I try and get the crumbs out but real life there are some anyway so try that hack put your toaster in an organizer and it's just going to make it so much easier to maintain the space that you stored in i have one more cabinet left so i just put down my liner um in this one i did have to tape it a little bit that way it stays in place some drawers i don't have to some i do it just depends what's being stored in it and in here i'm adding the rest of our countertop appliances Real quick one for you here. This drawer is just our Nespresso pod, so I'm restocking the organizer. This one's from Amazon. Of course, it's linked for you. Throwing in a liner underneath. I did need some tape here. Putting back in the organizer, and it's good to go. So first let's talk airtight containers, what I recommend, what I think is practical based off our personal experience. And then we are gonna do the after. I'm gonna show you the before and after of the pantry and the after of so many areas. I'm so excited, but essentially with airtight containers, I'm just using them for cereal and snacks. So I only bought five and honestly, that is all we need. We typically have one or two cereals at a time. We don't eat them every day, so sometimes they go stale. Same with snacks. I buy like full-size snack bags and I just add a little bit every day into school lunches and I try not to do the same snacks every day. So again, sometimes they get stale, but with these airtight containers, they won't. So just do what's practical for you guys. Again, I told you my last house, I went full on <laughs> extreme organizers and I just found that it wasn't even necessary and it was so much to maintain it. 
this is not a big deal to maintain. So this is what I recommend based off what has worked for us. And these organizers are so slim. I just think they're the most practical ones I've ever had. So let me show you the final result of areas you missed. Guys, I totally forgot to show the before of this pantry area. It was fairly similar. If you're a regular viewer, you know that, but I really just straightened it up, added in those airtight containers, and I'm just obsessed with this setup. I've shared it several times, and I like having those airtight containers right in the middle. I sort snacks in those pink bins. All of those pink bins are from Dollar Tree. I have a bunch of Amazon organizers in here um, I'm gonna show you guys the cane ones those are Amazon I love those so much very aesthetic and very practical and I hope you guys saw from this video everything doesn't have to be perfect of course you want things to look nice and I'm all about that but the practicality is the most important that way your system lasts all right, guys, that's everything for this kitchen organization. I hope that you enjoyed it. And more than anything, I hope that you found it helpful. I have links below for recent videos and also a lot of the organizers that I used in this video. And I will see you guys right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.